In this lesson, what I want to do is create a new background for lists. Now, what we've done in the past is we've put a solid background for our lists. In this case, I want to have a more translucent or more transparent background, but I want it to be subtle. So in the past where we had very strict edges on our list backgrounds, I want this just to fade in. And, and so there isn't necessarily a defined start or end to the background. The way we'll do this is we'll use a specific kind of PNG that has a gradient effect that just fades in from one side to the other. And so this isn't something that you can create in Camtasia. So I'm providing you a file and you should be able to download that file and apply that in this project. So let's jump over to Camtasia and we'll import that file. Now that file is just named alpha black. So I'll just drag that in to the canvas and you can't really see anything because there isn't anything in the background. It's just black fading into black, which doesn't show much. So I'll move this up a track and I'll find a nice background that we can use so we can see really what's going on. So I'll grab floating boxes and put that down there on track one. So now we can see where we have this alpha that is fading from nothing really over here. It's just completely like clear over here on the right and then completely black over on the left. And we're gonna use this to fade into the background of our text box. Now, I don't want the whole image to fade out like this. I could, I could leave it just like this and put some text over here. So let me show you an example. I'll grab an annotation. I'll put some text over here and we could use it just like it is. We can put our title here and then I can add points to my title, different items that I want to add more detail underneath. And then I could animate those in. And I think that that would be fine, but I want to show a different style. So if you wanted to use this just as its own file, you can do that. And I think that'll work just fine. But let me show you a way that I think makes it look a little more professional. What I want to do is use thirds in this video. So I want to have a third over here that doesn't have anything, then a third in the middle where I'm fading, and then a third on the left where it's a complete background. So I'm going to add a rectangle and I'm going to grab, I'm going to make sure that it's bold. So it goes all the way to the corners and I'm going to put it here from top to bottom. And then over here, I'm going to set the width. And I said, I want this to be one third. And if we're at 1920, then one third would be 640. So I'm going to set that to 640, drag it over so that it's flush with the left. And then I'm going to change this to black. So I'm going to go over to its properties and just change the color to black. Now, the next thing I want to do is grab this fading part and make this fading part the same size. So what I'll do is I'll drag it over so it covers the entire canvas. And then I'm going to hold down the shift key and then drag the left side over. And what that'll do is it'll just squish it and then it'll snap to that one third. So now when I drag this over, let me make sure I grab the alpha part here. There we go. And when I drag this over, now you can see that it just fades from one into the other. All right, and so that's that's what I'm looking for. So what I'll do is I'll just extend both of these out to the end of the uh, floating boxes background. And then I'm gonna group the two together. So I'm gonna press Control G on my PC or Command G on the Mac. And now I have these items connected into one. So this is like one element that'll allow me to put my text on top of. So the next thing I wanna do is I want to animate this in. And to animate that, I'm just gonna move my playhead out somewhere to the middle and I'll do a shift A to add an animation and probably one second is fine and I don't have to put it right at the beginning. Um, I might want to have it have a little bit of space there, but I'm going to start here at the beginning and I want this to be completely transparent. So absolutely no effect whatsoever. And then at the end, this looks really dark and it's completely covering what's behind it. So I don't want it to fade all the way in. I might only want it to fade in like 50%. So I'll just type 50. And now I have it at 50%, which I think is a fine enough background for our text. So as I look through here, notice how it kind of fades that part in. I can add text over top of that. So let's go back to those text boxes I had before. I'll just grab some text here. I'll put my title in at the top and I'll want to use that one third as a guide. So I'll put this as my title and then I'll put details below. And you can see that that's much easier to read whenever it's over top of that darker background. Now, if that wasn't there, we can just disable this track. You can see that it's much more difficult to see that text, though it's not impossible. But with that background there, it's much easier because there's more contrast for us to see that text. Now, if you want more contrast, of course, you could increase that opacity. I wouldn't go probably beyond 80% or so, and I probably wouldn't go below 30. If we go much below that, then the effect really isn't there. But for now, I'll just 
jump it back over to about 50%. Now, another thing you may want to do is you may not want to fade that in. Now, I like fading it in. I think that's a nice effect, but you may just want to cut to it. And in that case, that's fine. And you could just, you know, delete this animation and just have the opacity come in at 50% so that it's just always there. And then you can animate your text in. So that's a nice, neat way to add text to your backgrounds. It adds just a little bit more contrast so you can see a lighter text on a lighter background. Of course, we could do the same thing for a darker background. So to show that example, I'll go over here and I'll find a nice background that is darker and I'll grab the neon stocks background because that's darker there on the left. Now I already have a lot of this work done over here. So I'm going to copy these items, the control C and control V, paste them over here above. And you look at this and say, well, that wasn't exactly what you wanted. You were talking about making the background a little bit lighter and then having dark text. So let's fix both of those. So we'll start with the text and we want to make the text dark. Now, right now it starts white and ends white. And I want both the start and the end to be dark. I want it to be completely black. So to change all the animation parts, I'm going to go up here and make sure to click on this. So it says right now, any change we make is going to affect a single animation. But if I click it, now I'm going to edit all animations. So I'll go ahead and say yes to this. And now when I make a change to the color of the text, it will be for all animations, both before and after. All right, so now it starts dark and it ends dark, both. Perfect. And I'm done doing that, so I'll click this back to turn that effect off. The next thing I wanna do is change this background so it is lighter. So the easy way for me to do that is I'm gonna grab color tint and drag it down here. And I'm gonna say the dark tone, remember this was completely black. I want whatever was black to be completely white. And right now you're like, well, it looks kind of gray. And that's because the intensity is only at 50%. But if I jump this all the way up to 100, now I can see that it is lighter. And remember, we have the opacity set to 50%. So if we needed less light or we needed more light, we could do that. And so maybe on this, uh, we had it at 50, you know, maybe more of a 60% is gonna be a better uh, opacity level. So again, if I just play through this, I can click play and you can see that text comes in very easily. You can see it's so much easier than if this was completely gone. And if I just remove this, of course, you can't see that text at all. If you like that effect and want to apply it to your projects, of course, download that free file and apply it to your Camtasia projects. And to learn more about Camtasia, hey, I teach a course on that. Camtasia Pro is the newest, latest, greatest that gives you everything from A to Z, from the basics in Camtasia Core, all the way through the more professional effects that you see in this video. Head over to cammastery.com pro to learn all about Camtasia Pro.